Hey guys, this is Jeffrey. This is going to be a little bit of a different video today. I was playing a game with this Jarvan, and this is probably around D1 Masters MMR, and there were several instances where he and I disagreed on how to play the game, and some places when we did agree, and he often spam pinged yeah, me so much in the game that I ended up muting him. And so I thought this was kind of toxic, he thought this was kind of a normal way to communicate, and we end up VOD reviewing the game together and discuss a lot of the plays that happen from the game and what is an appropriate level of communication when it comes to giving criticism in-game and how to interact with your teammates. So let me know what you guys think about this, watch the clip in the background for some context, and I hope you enjoy. Yo, what's up? Let's VOD re review this. What's going on, dude? Who's gonna screen share? I can screen share. Let me just pull this up. You were Jarvin? Yep. You played really well. I, I only flamed you early on. And since you muted it yourself, you, you, you wouldn't know, but I only pinged you when you made mistakes. I wasn't perma-pinging. Yeah, but don't you think that makes it harder for someone to focus on their own to play? For certain people, yes. But for other people, if they know they get pinged, they know that they made the mistake. Sometimes in solo queue, people don't think that they make mistakes. Okay, I totally agree with you that sometimes that is the case. But I do wonder, That's... I do wonder if, we're, if we're, we're thinking about a normal, typical League of Legends player, and I'm not saying you're wrong here, I'm just opening up conversation. Like... For you to criticize yourself and like work on your own play, like aren't you normally aware of your own mistakes? Like, do you feel like you yes. ever make mistakes and you don't notice it? If only if a jungle man would you tell me, because this account I'm first timing jungle, <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff I don't know about jungle. But if it's a mechanical mistake, I would know. Right. So you're usually pretty aware of your own play, right? So when someone, yes. when you're already aware of your own mistakes and then someone rehashes that in all in team chat, isn't that kind of frustrating? I don't mind it if it's like only during that play, but they perma ping me, like let's say a minute after, then yes, I'll be tilted. Okay. But so if it it's during, the, what? It has to be topical, like within the moment. Yes. So what if, if, like that, what if you I'm, make I'm a bunch of mistakes and you're like really trying to focus? Do you like, you're okay with someone pinging you every like 40 seconds when you make a mistake? No, because that's just being annoying at that point. The play's already over. Okay. So no, I'm saying like every, like if you make a, like, let's say you're having a really bad early game and someone's just oh. like, every time you do something wrong, they ping you. You're, you're, you're happy that that's happening. I mean, I'm not happy, but I deserve to get flamed. No, you deserve I'm, to I'm, get I'm, flamed. Do you get deserved to be treated poorly because you're making mistakes? Yeah, because I'm costing us a game for four other players on the team. That seems kind of harsh, doesn't it? I think I think that maybe there's a different way to do it. Like, what if what if instead of instead of pinging or even saying like you fucked up, just just bypass all of the negativity and say, hey, try to do this next time, or, or you should try blank, or, or we should do this instead. What do you think about so, that? Okay, I I think what you're saying makes sense if it's in a team like if it's in like a pre-made team environment. Right, like let's say competitive play, but okay. we're in solo queue and you don't know who you're playing with, okay? You're playing against four randoms. But they're not randoms, they're people. They're humans, right? Yes, they're people, but they're randoms in the, in the sense that you don't know them. So why does that change the way that you should treat them? Because, I mean, you've been playing League probably as long as I have. Season so two. you know that League players are toxic and no, they're very no. competitive in solo queue. They're not toxic. League players aren't toxic. People on the internet have a sense of entitlement because they have this anonymity about them. They don't realize the effect, the impact of their actions. Okay. That is okay. what if you, is. I mean, if you want to talk about internet, that's another thing. I'm talking about League in general. It's the same thing because it's the same sub-community, right? Uh... It's I similar. It's it's similar, side. right? Yeah, yeah. It's similar. I'm not saying it's 100, percent but. And anyways. Yeah. Let's let's go let's let's go watch the bot. Yeah. What do we want to watch? My early game was pretty rough. That's how my last game was too. Oh. Was there, was there something you wanted to watch? You said something about you pinged me for dragon, but maybe I was already muted yes. at that point. Yes. Yes. No, the, 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 I I didn't ping you any. Oh, we could, we could watch it like step by step. You could you could you could just fast forward the bot. Jarvin. Jarvin's a really. Okay, so in this take, I, I figured we were going to be playing like really like you and me aggro around Oriana. I figured we're gonna we we're gonna camp Cinder because Ash could just control wave one versus two against Zillion, and they kind of outscale us. 
At least that's what my thought process was. Right. I feel like that is a good um yeah, any, anyways, I feel like that is a good plan, but in solo queue, when you're playing a champion like J4, it's better to full clear top to bot. And on the second rotation, you clear Krugs, Raptors, you get level five, and you usually go for Drake Pryle. If if it's up. If it's not, then you full clear into um mid or um bot. That's usually how the champion J4 goes. Because so your plan was to clear down, does... clear down, reset, yes, clear down. and then and then play around like dragon yes okay so we're laying if you watch I mean, like we're, we're pretty Elo... chill we're pretty chill this bot yep. lane yeah if I, you watch like high elo junglers like agarin he does that all the time yeah he's very like fundamentals like standard i fucking die yes. here because i try to swag out on the zillion bombs and then i just take a million damage I tried yeah, to, like, I saw that. I, that's fine. I thought I was I, smurfing. I, I thought I was smurfing with my exhaust, and then they still end up killing me. And I couldn't. Yeah, get I mean that's thing. fine. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't even ping you there, right? I didn't <laughs> even do anything. I saw that, and it's fine. <laughs> no, it was good. We traded. We traded Zeri Flash. I mean, it's really not the end of the world. Yeah, you could just keep. You could just um, you know, speed up the. What are we looking at? Oh, so... right here. That's fine, right? I got Ori Flash. Okay. And then right here, I'm pushing it, and, and I'm gonna reset. You got Ori Flash. Yep. If you if you could look back. I don't see in the. Oh, this this is only from your point of view. Yeah, this is my recording. Oh, uh, you could um, if you could uh, you, you press you press tab a while ago. You could, you could look at Ori Flash. It's that. Well, did no one ping it? I don't think so. I forgot. I guess we forgot to ping it, but I got her flash there. Oh no! You didn't ping her flash. Yep, you see, that's my mistake, right? But I, I, I knew that. Yeah, you see, so look, you see, she flashed, she flashed there. You, you see the like the little it. flash. Yeah, the particles. Yeah. So yep. why were you pinging me here? Whenever the zillion face checked. Oh right, yeah, right queue? here. You could just walk up and auto him. Bard auto slows and then auto into a queue. Yes, I was right at the bush. But I was wait, waiting. wait, can't you just EQ right here and it guarantees my stun? Isn't that just guaranteed stun? Well, what if I missed? Yeah, but what if I missed? You can't miss an auto. But he he face checked you, no? Yeah, but he could he could dodge it. This is one of those things. I agree with you though. I should have I should have auto attacked queued. But the thing is, he faced he like got melee of you over the hill, and it was guaranteed EQ around this little edge right here. So this is one of those things where it's like, man, if we had like comms in the middle of a game, it would change everything. Yes. So okay. But but so, like, in my say, opinion, I agree. I, in my opinion, the timing that I would have to auto him was too early for the engage. So I, I let him walk past me, and I did, like, you know, uh, trigger discipline. And I let him get melee of you, and I figured that you would EQ right here. Whenever he walks up to ward, right here, that's that's look, that's look perfect EQ because he, there's no way he goes middle. He wants to go down, so you could just EQ towards Raptors, and he gets hit, and then I just follow up, and he dies. Or you EQ W, think... and he's slowed, and then I auto into Q. So I guess... I, guess... I think my... Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, I think my cooldowns were up. So uh, let's say I EQ. That is like 80% play, right? So like I could probably hit it and it'll probably work. But what I had in mind was that you could just auto him and then it would make it even a higher percentage play. So then you would probably be, be dead by then. Because if it, you walk like to the left, right, where, we, where, where would you go? Yeah, if I zone him. Yeah. I think both work. So I, th that, I think chances are we were just kind of relying on each other, and then we were we just like held the trigger a little bit too long. Because I feel like like he's like he's in Q animation here, like he's literally just standing there like the whole time. And I walked up in Q. Right. I did waste Q. I agree with you there. I think I think walk up auto has to be the the guaranteed play. Yeah, the thing is, is that I miss J four EQs quite often, and <laughs> I don't want to miss that one. So if, if I could, if I could go you look for, for more... guaranteed, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yes, understand. I understand. I, I think I think I mean, the, the funny thing is was I th tell me what you think about this. I think you and I were both using the same framework to not miss our abilities, but then we lost a window. I yes. was I was looking it, for your EQW. Yeah, I'm looking for your EQW to either hit or slow, and then I go for auto Q, and you're looking for my auto Q to EQW. Yes. So do you, I mean that, so that, that, that is whatever. It is funny, isn't it? But what do you think about this? Is is there a fault? Is there a get one hundred percent what we should have done here? You think me auto cues should go first? I mean, looking back, um, if we if we're in comms, then I think you should auto. But 
in solo queue you don't know right so i yeah. think it's whatever yeah i agree with you i think i think i think the variable that we are not in comms doesn't matter it's one of those things that's unlucky i mean i get gold and we get pressure it's really not the end of the world but yeah, um, i mean i'm mean, okay that that i will i, I think that I think it's I think it's whatever. I mean right? to I connect think, to connect know. though. I will say though to connect to what we were talking about earlier. It's like one of these things. It's I just want to make a point. It's so difficult to communicate without comms. And so one of these situations, you and I were thinking the exact same thing, but we it just didn't work out. And I I think I do like sixty percent agree with you that I probably should have auto attacked. I should have I should have spaced to auto attack and then get melee and then Q. But this ping right here, this shit pisses me off. When I see when I see this ping, well, you and I are both doing the same thing. Like as a human, it shit pisses me off so much because it's like it's like it's it's so unnecessary. Like I know I missed, and I know that we missed the opportunity. So when I see this ping, it just frustrates me. I I, I can understand it from your from your point of view, right? But in game, like I was like only thinking about making the play, right? Mm -hmm. And and since in my mind that zillion is dead if you just auto, right? Mm -hmm. In the, like in the moment, right? Yeah. So just like. We're not like fob reviewing, right? So like in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm only thinking if you just auto, that zillion was dead. Yeah. And since we missed the opportunity, it's like, okay, now the game is a little it's a little bit harder now. Okay. And so I want you to zoom out. So consider this. If you ping me, what if every ping had its own weight, right? Like there's a certain amount of mental resources I have, and every ping you ping of me will take away from my mental resources. And so doesn't that also equally make the game a little bit harder because it'll frustrate me and distract me from playing my own game? I mean, yes, definitely, yes. All right. I mean, I mean, I agree with that. I mean, if you flame someone, they'll more, they'll be more likely to end, right? Some people, their mental is not good, and so they'll just end, right? Well, my mental's pretty good too. That's the funny thing. Right. No, I saw. No. Yeah. And, That's well, like, why, because I, because right? I have the restriction. I have the knowledge that I can mute all and focus on myself without getting frustrated. But it's like it's one of those right. things I, where it's a shame, you know. But I mean, I once again, this is. I I would say so overall, I'm very pleased with this conversation. This is very healthy. But. uh yeah, I think that's fair. But you, but but you can understand where I'm coming from. I think it's a fine line. I think um, you made the point of you made the point earlier of I'm not going to sit here and type an entire like you know constructive essay to you. But at the same time, I will say maybe even you know look you had your backing right here, right? You chose to ping me while I'm backing, and I'm not saying that you're a fucking idiot or anything. I'm just saying like you know a, a potential option for you in the future is okay. You have this time to back. What if you were like, hey, I was looking for you to auto and then queue first, but it's okay. Like what? I can type that, right? But in that moment, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking about <laughs> what should I do next. Yeah, I know. It's hard. It's hard. It's cool because this game is so macro, but it's so micro at the same time. That's It's absolutely yeah. true. Is there, there must be another play. I mean, our laning was right, really so. slow. Let's look at something else. I mean, we had nothing else, and then, yeah. Uh, no, there's, there's a Drake that I told you about, right? Yeah, I wanted to actually understand what you're talking about. So, I think it's... Be, no, we were, I could have maybe altered here, but I think it was lost. No, I'm level 7 already. It's level 5. It's level 5. It's before this. It's level 5. It's here? No, Drake's already dead. The first Drake. The very first Drake. Okay, here. Yep, Ocean. I ping. You already ping. This is when you pinged me for when you were mad at me. So you pinged for assistance, I think. Let's watch you. I think you're clearing Raptors. I'm on Windows Media Player, so it's fucking shitty scrubbing. I think you ping on the way. You asked for assistance to Dragon, I think, here. Yep. I mean, we are we don't have Pryo here, right? Like, we don't have... We can't... We're accepting a wave. So the only reason why I pinged is because I know that you're barred. You could just let, let Ash get solo EXP under tower and yeah. you just help me. I could. And I think that is actually yeah. what I end up doing. You, I, but you did it way too late. Well, there was there was no Hecker, and we have Warden River. And I will say on top of that, you're sneaking a dragon and playing off of Hecker and resetting topside, which I think is what is happening. Um, yes, but the thing is, is that like it's I do end up better. Coming. We have a ward here, and so I'm kind of yeah, I'm the, watching the map right now. Yeah, the timing when you came, but mm -hmm. it's already too late. Like there's no point of you coming to help when it's already at thousand HP. So what's the problem? So you wanted usually, me to be there in case Hecarim comes and just let and just no no we just want to finish it as fast as possible so I could go to the next next objective. You're saying okay, so it would have been better for me to speed run Dragon with you so that you can reset to blue side reset red and then let Ash maybe get six earlier. 
is six, and then I, I can also play for Harold. I mean, like, look, when you came, it's already, it's basically dead already. You did what? One auto? No, I didn't do much damage. One auto two. But I don't think, I, I feel right. like you didn't need me. So the, so the point is, is that what I'm trying to say is that any damage I could get from bot lane to help okay, so will make about... it so that I can make my next play as a jungler even faster. That probably costed me like five to ten seconds on my rotation, right? I could have been at, let's say, doing Gromp already. I could have reset it already. Yeah. Went top Krugs, Raptors into Herald. As a jungler, every second matters, especially like, let's say, if you're clearing, right? Some junglers, they could clear at 330. Some junglers, they could clear at 325. The jungler that clears at 325, they could get to crap faster or they could, they could um, gank faster. Yeah, I think in this situation, it's a, it's slightly different because this is second clear dragon spawn. So there's really no crabs up. Hecarim's resetting topside to Gromp. I, this is a weird one because I feel like since it's actually a really risky dragon by you because you don't have Pryo in both your lanes. And so actually me, me going over to dragon might actually give away the fact that you're doing it if I go early. And so what, if I go over to Dragon early and Ash is accepting a wave under bot lane, doesn't Orianna and Zillion and Zeri just come and counter us? No. So, so if you if you just play that a little bit, like you're saying, I should I should sneak there. I should I shouldn't even be there. No, no, no. Oh. Like right here, I should just go from here. Like I should just sneak level four, just go down. Uh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I yep. can see it. I can see it. I mean, I don't think it ended up changing anything, but I, I, I can see what you're saying. No, but my point is, yeah, it, it, looking at hindsight, it doesn't change anything, right? But what if they rotated? I think we would have lost the fight if we rotated. Ash is in six, and yes. neither our bottom or middle had Pryo. I think you were flipping yes, so dragon, would... and that's that's fine. It's a cool play. No, I don't think it. I don't think it's flip. I think that they, they didn't even know it. And yeah, since yeah, barred, yeah. I right? think I think you were sneaking dragon. I think maybe it's a better way I could say it. I think you were sneaking dragon, but it's still a, it's a, it's like sneaking is like a flip play. Not it's only because we didn't have prio bottom or middle. But the fact that jungler was topside, I think you were fine. I think it was chill. But I, I mean, I don't know. I think I think this is a, like a, in a better way. It doesn't feel um, like it was that important. But I can see what you're saying, though, for the optimization, though. I agree. There's a, there's a world there. Everything we forced yes, bot lane. I, I, feel like, I feel like I could have said it in a better way, but um, I guess it is what it is. Yeah, but for sure. Anyways, my, my point is that, um, yeah, basically, the more damage we could get onto Dragon, yeah, the faster tempo play I could make. Yeah, I agree. Right. And I and I know that I only ping because you're barred, anyways. If you're any other support champion, I probably would not have pinged because I know I could just tunnel through while Ash is um going on is under tower, and they won't they won't even know where you're going because you're gonna be portaling from Fog of War. And right here, yeah, this is where yes, I killed right the there. Zillion all. Okay, I burned Ori Flash there, and then we go down. Ash is a little late, so we're kind of outnumbered. I feel like I feel like yeah, that's still kind of. This is tough because we're so split right here. Because Ori doesn't have all, or sorry, uh, Flash, and our Syndra is just getting collapsed on. This I is... think she's 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 dead. She's dead. The Syndra is probably dead right there. I think. But look. Yeah, I should have. I, I should have let her when she was stunned. Yeah. Yes. Look, I ignored her. You see, okay? We go back. You see how I just yeah. went after the Zillion. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Both of both both of them were dead on my screen. Mm hmm But I mean, I, in reality, they're not because of the play we made, right? Right. I mean, it, if someone were to mess up like this, I mean, I don't know if you would feel tilted or not. I would feel super tilted. That's six hundred gold down the drain. No, I don't feel tilted because I understand that mistakes happen. Yes, mistakes happen, but we're playing a competitive game. And we, we and we want to minimize those mistakes, right? But especially once they happen, especially no the, amount of flame will upturn them or reset them in any form of harsh criticism. And when I say the word harsh, I yeah. mean I mean unnecessary, right? Like going back uh, yes. to the previous point, like this yes, this pinging right here, this 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 uh, behavior by you 
and I'm, I'm, I am not saying you're a bad person because I love the conversation we're having for the record. But this, this type of pinging, if I was a weaker person, if I was like a Draven main, I would just alt F4 right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't mind that. But anyways, <laughs> what I was going to say, what I was going to say is that, yes, mistakes do happen. The only mistakes I will tolerate are like, let's say mistakes that require like, like micros, right? What like do you mean tolerate? Mistakes. What do you mean tolerate? Like people make mechanical mistakes all the time, right? It happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if it's a if it's a mistake that's from someone not thinking properly, I mean that's just kind of hard, right? I don't know. You, is you, it? You go, is it? Is do you yes. make every correct decision in the game? No, but there are some that it's easily avoidable. Okay, but so easily you you avoidable. make those mistakes too, right? Like, like give give an example. Like uh, like let's say right there, like the zillion R, right? I mm -hmm. chose proactively not to attack Zeri because she was. Okay, was how about this? Stuff. How about this? Okay, so let's let's review this because I remember this being a funny play as well. So we we walk towards them right, and we know that Zillion Alt is down, and I auto attack yes, the Zeri. I cannot. I cannot just. I cannot just EQ in. I need you to exhaust or something. If she dodges it, I'm just dead. Okay, so is my exhaust up? Where? Can you see this? Can you see the five seconds that are on my exhaust? Okay, let's just play it through. Let's just play it through. Let's see how it went. I know that went badly. Let's see how it went. <laughs> yeah. So my exhaust is now up after you've already been stunned. Right. So. So what stopped that, you from that, that EQing? Part is on my fault, right? What stopped that for you from EQing the zillion with no flash? Because I mean, right there, we, I thought we were both going after the Zeri, right? So. But wouldn't that be six hundred gold? Up, wouldn't so. that be six hundred gold if you just killed the zillion before my exhaust? Couldn't you? Right. Just... On hindsight, yes. Yes. Okay, so on hindsight, that is my fault. So you're saying that in this in this like situation, I should I should be upset that you didn't take the free gold right here. As he as he's in he's in cast animation, EQ WQing you, right here. So as as he E's right here, which puts him in cast animation, you should have killed him right there. And so I should be spam pinging you because you made a mistake. Yeah, if you want me to kill the zillion, and I didn't. Right, but, but the what, play what was the spam that, pinging? What would the spam ping do for you? Wouldn't that just make lost my mistake right there? But but do and you not do you not spot, realize it by yourself? No, because in that in that moment, if we didn't VOD review this, I wouldn't know Zillion was was killable. Because the play was is that I thought we were both going after the Zeri, right? Mm -hmm. That's what that's what I was focusing on. I thought I we, agree. We were I was both too going after the Zeri. I was right. too. So in the moment, we didn't even care about the Zillion, but once right. we VOD reviewed it, <laughs> okay, we okay. there was a kill opportunity okay. on Zillion. So you and I are both currently understanding the new play, but this is all the reason why I'm saying this is because after you die here, which is fine, it happens. I wasn't gonna ping you. See, Ash pinged you. Do you see this? Look, Ash pinged you, and then you spam ping my exhaust, which once again, as a human, pisses me off. So what do I have to do in this situation? Just like, say it was an up or something. I don't mind. We just move on from that. Right, but just as you said, using your logic from earlier, we're in the middle of a game. Do you think I have time to explain to you that you incorrectly assumed my exhaust was up because you were trying to fight somebody and then you chose the wrong target? I'm catching like nine minions under tower here. <laughs> then, then just move on from that. The, the thing well, is, is that you're talking about a zillion play. We both wouldn't, we both in that moment didn't even know that was possible. So you can't even point out my mistake in that moment, right? Right. But what I, the main point I'm trying to say is, is that this, this behavior by you to constantly like be pinging mistakes for other people, it actually makes the game harder because it frustrates the normal person. And on top of that, we shouldn't be judgmental towards others because chances are we're making mistakes ourselves. There are some mistakes. Anyways, I gotta say this: there are some mistakes that you can only see once we're re reviewing. Yeah, I agree. It's like in hindsight; game, you can zoom out. Yes, it's twenty twenty. So, but so in why game, are, yeah, there are there are other there are in game you can see the other obvious mistakes which you could point out. Right, and we said this earlier, people, it's like communicating that with language, with words, with context is really useful because it can allow someone to have a solution to the problem. But spam pinging and missing pinging, that is frustrating. That is a form of flame. And so that actually makes the situation worse. Yes, but the thing is, is that from your point of view, you think it's toxic. From my point of view, I think it's fine. As long as, as, long as we're only doing it in the moment. That's my point of view. 
If I if I keep really? spamming your exhaust, yes, if I keep spamming your exhaust a minute after, that's just holding on to a grudge. And you're I, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm thinking about how to win the game. I don't care about what you what you made before. I only cared in the moment because we messed up a play. Do you think most people believe your point of view, or do you think most people believe my point of view? I would think most high elo players would, would, would. I don't know if they would believe, but they'll have the same mindset as me. I could see that. I could see that type of communication, but as a as a hey. as a, a somewhat somewhat not completely because I just fucking demoted the D one a couple days ago. Uh, as a somewhat high elo player, that shit I frustrates think, I think, me. I, I, think, I think I think if you ping it once. And then maybe give me some context because you're dead for 22 seconds. I wouldn't mind. Um, I think if it was productive, especially because I come from like amateur esports where you have to treat each other like humans. Like I think that's actually important. I think the way that you yeah. hold yourself okay. socially is really important. And I think that okay. the yeah. only reason why it doesn't do that in solo queue is because no one is is forcing it or upholding it. But I think as a as an individual person in solo queue, I'm not afraid to say that this shit is annoying. Okay. Yeah. But the, but you're bringing up. In, in, in amateur esports, right? That is that is competitive play. It's different. And this is competitive too, but it's just solo queue. It's just it's different solo context. Queue. It's, it's completely but different. But it is competitive. It is competitive. Yes. Otherwise, but you like, wouldn't ping me at all. In, in, in a pre-made five man, what I would do is I wouldn't ping you. I would just once the game is over, I would we would wild review and then we would see how to improve as, as a team. But the thing is, this is solo queue. We're playing with four random players every single game. Mm -hmm. And so there's no point in correcting someone, especially if you probably won't meet them again. You but, could, but in high elo, you meet people again all the time. Yes, I, I'll probably I mean, play with you like like twenty times this season. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't know. I, I I have not met the same players. The, the master masters, just like what five thousand? No, like five to six thousand. Nah, that it's less than that. It's like three thousand. Yeah, it's like three thousand. Yeah. And even then, uh, but, if, you're, if that's only if you're low masters, if you're high masters, every morning you play with challengers, and every evening you play with grandmasters. Yes, if you play with challengers and grandmasters, then you you can meeting the same people every time. And even then, like those players, they won't change their ways. Okay, they view you as a random. You view them as a random. Maybe not you, but I don't. I definitely don't. I view you as a human being, and I knew the second that you agreed to come in here, we were going to have a unique and respectable conversation. I knew that. I knew that from the get-go. I, I understand that you're viewing like someone as a human. Yes, I know there's humans playing behind a monitor, but what mm -hmm. I'm saying is that random as in you don't know them personally. Yeah. That's and strange. some players, no matter how many times you play with them and no matter how many times you talk with them, they will not change their ways. Right? That's not true. I think yeah, I, mean, I think some. I, I Okay, maybe it is true. Maybe it is true that some people won't. But I, I, yes, okay. Well, I, like there's a handful, but those are very disagreeable people. And if someone were to let me tell you this, if someone were to say, "Hey, man, I noticed you made some mistakes in lane. Do you want our VOD review and discuss what went wrong?" I would freak the fuck out. I'd be like, "Hell yeah, dude!" I I would be so happy. And why isn't that the status quo? Why isn't that normal? How come we okay. don't have that culture? Yeah, so I I agree that 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 could be a thing, right? And that, I feel like that is, that would make the game better. But that is not how the game is. And why though? Would Shouldn't you spend the time? We be that person. Uh, Shouldn't we be those people, Jerryoski? I mean, we can, but would you <laughs> rather? Would you rather just queue for the next game and just and think just think about how you could play better, or you waste time? Well, I don't. I want to say waste time. It's whatever your opinion is. Yeah. In my opinion, it's wasting time with because I could I could instead be climbing right rather than bot review. If you do that every single game, well, not every, but like a lot of games, I, I feel like this is, this is a lot of time wasted on just VOD reviewing with well, some random person. It does depend on how you VOD review and who you do it with, though, because you and I, I can tell that you're analytical and you're very, you understand the people at the top of, of jungle and you understand fundamentals and min-maxing jungle. And I understand, because the fact that you that you got me on not rotating to do a thousand extra damage to dragon so you could reset to Krugs, I, that means that you are fundamentals. I understand that. I can see that. I can hear it in your voice. But... I think that some a lot of players autopilot and they don't really think about what they're doing wrong and they just play the game for 12 hours a day and they don't think about it. And so for me, yes. I, I, I'm okay VOD reviewing because when I VOD review, I get something out of it every time, even if I'm fucking feeding my ass off. Um, 
because even later this game, I mean, there's a lot of like, wh- I think one of the bigger points, Bartle is one of the hardest things to use in my opinion. Um, because no, I, don't, I don't, I don't disagree with that. It's right. so, I think it's, it's hard so hit. hard to use. And that's what makes, it's one of the big make or breaks between Bart, like Bard players, like Bard players are either loved or hated and there's no in between. So that, it's, it's just so difficult to play this champion sometimes. And a lot of these early fights right here, I actually did really well, but there was one I actually bought just for the sake of talking about how important I think Vaudeview is. Um, I think I can't remember who got engaged on, but there was a point when someone got engaged. Kale. Probably well, Kale. it was both times it was Kale, but one time I altered her and she was completely by herself, and I should have altered all of the enemies. Here, I overlap my R with her R because she's low health, and that completely shuts off the Hecarim alt right there. That was so fucking Smurf. But we clean this fight up three four, I think. You get a nasty engage, and then we just zone at yeah. Zeri. I think we three four this. I'm not, or maybe it's like one four. I don't know. I think I think I think oh, all of you guys died. And I cleaned up. I think. Yeah, I think I, th- I thought it went a lot better. Yeah, this was good. Ash Smurf too, and then IQ flash here. That's disgusting, and we kill her over the wall. Hell yeah! That, oh, no, and that we, was a really yeah, good Q by you. That was really good. So we three two this, and we get dragon. But there was yeah, yeah. one in the mid late game. God, what was it? There was a fight in mid game. Anyways, this is just to talk about how. Oh, here it is. To talk about how important VOD review is in this context. The the Kale is overstepping again, but she is kind of our our solo laner here, and so I think I end up alting her, and I should have just alted everyone else. But we also were in the wrong lane allocation. We should have had Kale top and all four of us middle, so right. we could just control right. that. I think I ping top. I, I don't remember when. I, I even I I, dude. I even typed it, bro. Like I I was like even though I had everyone muted. Um, we're getting like, like there's control. no re- there was no reason to go mid. All we gotta look, do is just look, shove mid. And I literally type it. T2 I top. literally type it. I say one four, one four. Yeah, easy yeah. peasy. That, that, that's, and yeah. then and our, you, yeah. you see me just going top to shove the wave because yeah. that's what I'm doing. Because well, that's that's a play. Yeah, I yeah shoving the catching the wave is okay, but then what happens here? There's a crazy oh, fight. Look, look, I'm literally typing it right here. Look, Kale top IMO. And our, our Ash is top. I was like, what are we doing, dude? And then look at her. She's at inner with no vision. Look at this. It's one on four Kale, by the way. And so here he alts, and then I alt on top of him to extend the life and, and slow down his death. But they just camp him because they have GP barrels. And that was a mistake by me. I think what I should have done. Oh, fuck. I might have fucked up my review. But anyways, I should have uh, I should have altered the enemy so that she could have escaped. And so that's what, yeah, so that's like, that's why I think like VOD review is so important because it can give you these little insights into context that otherwise you wouldn't be able to get. No, I, I, mean, I mean, I completely agree with that. Like, but the thing, I, I feel like right there, that's mostly for your own sake, right? Because in that moment, I wasn't even thinking about what you're doing. I'm thinking about how I should make the best play myself. Oh yeah, you're talking about it in, in like like two people VOD reviewing. Yeah, I'm not that that's right. contextual. Like, I don't I don't think about that. I'm just talking about VOD review as a as an individual. No, no, I, I agree. Us. I, I agree. I think you don't know what kind of you don't know what kind of game knowledge someone else brings to the table. Like right. that's just. But the knowledge. thing is, is but the thing is that like we've been talking for like what how, how long? Twenty long minutes, fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> and let's say you do that with every single player you have a disagreement with on solo. Key. How long would that take? Is that even feasible? I don't think so. No, I I think that's probably not necessary. It's probably a little too vigilant. That's too uh, it's too much too many resources. Um, and 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 you're and you're you're in the minority. And so that means is that you're going to be on this mission to have productive VOD reviews of people, <laughs> and most other players would probably just ignore that and just go on to play more solo. Well, game. what I will say is the only reason why we're having this VOD review is that you stopped to type back to me in the post game chat. And that's why I was really excited because you you seemed like you were down to communicate. Because most other players just disregard and they autopilot and they do nothing with their time. They never get better. They're hard stuck whatever they've been for the longest time. Is what it, is what it seems like. It seems like people don't fluctuate as much. But I don't know. The only reason why I'm tight because I know for the plays that I make, right? The plays that I make, I don't know what you were thinking. So maybe I was wrong in some other aspect. But the plays that I was paying proactively. I knew that I'm most likely right on that. That's the only reason why I type back. Right, but what I, what I do I do want to I do want to challenge you as a personal thought here because the two plays that we okay we we talked over three plays. The first one was engaging on Zillion with my auto attack before your EQ. The second one was Dragon. What? The third one was. Uh, 
was our engage on Zillion Zeri bot lane with the exhaust. And so the first right. one, you and I were all even I think it was a 51-49 split that we agree with you. That that I probably should have engaged, but you also had a window to engage because I you had were a window to engage. Work. So it was and one of those things reason, Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say the only reason why I didn't engage is because if I missed that then it's just time wasted. Right. And the only reason why I didn't engage is because if I were to miss it would just be time wasted. Right. So it was one of those but, funny things that even though, and I want to, I'm, I'm going to hold you to this because I like being accountable is that you spam pinged me, which I'm over. I'm not being a sorry little bitch, but it, you know, you were, you were hardcore pinging me in a situation where you thought you were right. But then once we go to the tape, it's like, it was a little bit more 50, 50. And then you spam pinged my exhaust. And then when we go to the tape, you were a little bit more 50, 50. And so maybe, maybe I'm not saying, cause I think you're smart. I really do. Um, but there's something to this whole spam pinging thing that I think might not be all what it's chalked up to be. And that maybe when you think you're right, even if you think you're right, spam pinging might not be the correct option. But I do, I'm going to, I'm going to give you this though. I think there's something interesting about the culture that you talked about where you said you think most solo queue players are okay spam pinging in the moment, but you can't do it a minute afterwards because that shows a grudge. I think that was really smart by you to say that because there might be something a little bit more nuanced there. I think that might be true. If you watch any high ELO players, streams, or whatever, that's usually, they mostly communicate with pings. Right. Very rarely they, they type. If they type, they usually type an essay or something. Yeah, perhaps they, maybe the, at that level, like in challenger level, and maybe not even low challenger, like high challenger, maybe there's an assumed level of knowledge. But um, I mean, you, you, I mean, you're saying that, but like we're not even that low elo, okay? I well, yeah, I agree. I agree with you. I agree. With we're, you. I think we're better than most of the players in this game. But we anyways, are. we are. What I was saying sure. is that. What I was saying is that. What is it? Um. Like let's say let's say let's go back to like the zillion, right? Mm -hmm. So like we were both thinking, right? Um, in my mind, if you just autoed. That is like guaranteed, mm -hmm. right? And so that's why I got mad because instead of autoing, you just waited for my EQ, which I didn't know at the time because mm -hmm. I, because I also th thought about EQing. That was, that's like plan B in my mind. Yeah. But if I miss that, then there's no point because I know that the zillion doesn't have vision of me. He doesn't know that I'm in, I'm in the bush. Yeah, so you get a little bit of an attack of opportunity. Right, but if I miss that, then it's just a waste of time. So I was just thinking, why not just go for the guaranteed play? Just slow, slow, slow him with your passive, and then you can queue if you want. I don't care if you miss your queue. The main thing is to slow from your auto. Yeah. Right. And so in that moment in in game, that's why I got frustrated. But vod reviewing, we talked about it, but that's hindsight, right? We knew that either play could have worked out if we went for it. We were thinking, we were thinking about different plays. That's why we both didn't do anything. Yeah, and I think. But in game, mm -hmm. you know. I think there's yeah, in game. Yeah, yeah, move. Yeah, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say I think there's something where the way that you said that, where you said, I I thought you were gonna do that, and because you didn't, I got frustrated. I think that's the truth behind all of this. I think that spam pinging is, it's a sign of frustration. And I think that second we allow our emotions to control our actions in a negative sense, that makes it to where toxicity will. That's like a breeding ground for toxicity. Not that, and once again, not that I'm saying that you were some toxic piece of shit because you for sure were not. You were, you were a, you were very healthy. You, you had some spam pings, but other than that, it was really not that bad. But I think there's something to that, that it's like, oh, you did something that I didn't approve of. And so I spam pinged you because I got mad. There's something to that, that I don't like. That doesn't sound like a healthy environment to me. I, I mean, I don't disagree with that, right? So, and I think if I were to be in your shoes, I would. I mean, actually, no. For me, I was I, I'm fine with it, but I I can understand from your point of view, right? Yeah. Um, but and that's me, good. I, th I think, think we have a mutual understanding. I think this is fair. I think there's some. I think there's more to be talked about, but at the same time, you know, I think the I think it, the way that you've talked about how that spam ping is okay in the moment, and then as long as you don't hold on to it, it's not as bad because you can just use pings to isolate mistakes. I like that. I like the way that you're that you're carrying that. But I do wonder what other people think. Um, I mean, I, I feel like what I'm doing is very tame. Some people, I, yeah, it, it I, is, I, it is, I, it is for sure. No, I, I, I'll, I'll call, I will validate that. It is because some people could straight up start calling me like some racial slurs and shit. <laughs> like that's, you know, what I'm saying like it can be bad, right? Like it gets really bad really fast. But um, no, you, I think what you're doing is tame. Previous game, previous game, I played with this 
I don't know, like he, this guy was linking his Twitch stream. Well, I don't <laughs> care about that. He was like five, like I don't know, Hell two yeah. viewers or whatever. Yeah. He he says he picked his twenty percent master Yi and decided to troll my entire game. Hell yeah. For no reason. I just played it like recently. This this is the game before I played with you. It feels bad. <laughs> I mean, I, I had to play with this this type of player. Yeah. So I feel like what I'm doing is like yeah it's like it's nothing i think that's a fair that's a fair assessment a couple of pings is nothing compared to fucking throwing 1v9 <laughs> yes well dude i really okay. appreciate you talking to me dude i really enjoy this would you be okay if i were to use this these clips in some kind of like video content would you be okay with that uh, i'm fine with it okay hell yeah are you what you said you're you're off rolling jungle yes this is um first timing jungle what'd you play uh, in your main role i play mid lane what, what, how far did you get in mid lane? I think I got 200. LP? Or rank? Yep, 200. Okay. 200 that's, masters, I think. That's pretty good. Is that is that like a this season thing or like a couple seasons ago? That was, I think, I think it was last season or something. Okay. Hell but, yeah, dude. Yeah. Have we ever played together? I I don't remember. I don't yeah. look at I probably, but um, I do. Maybe. Um, I do not look at people's names when I play, so. <laughs> I, that's, I love, look, I, I, even the game before you and I played, I added my AD carry because I saw him play before because me and him both griefed one game like a couple days ago, and I was like, and he, we, we like 2v8 and carry, and I was like, bro, GG's, man. It was fun playing with you because I, I recognize his name. So I was like, I like, I like building relationships because I find it really important, and I think it, it, helps, it helps cut through that uh, anonymous computer stuff. No, I, I understand. But right now, I'm just trying to climb stuff. So if I see, I mean, <laughs> I, I feel like you could also relate. But like, I can, I can. If you see people throwing in your games and you're trying to climb, I think you get pretty frustrated. Here's a thought. Here's a thought. Tell, tell me what you genuinely think about this. Do you remember, um, do you, do you, how long have you been playing? I've been playing since seven season seven okay i mean that's not super long but still pretty long do you know who consensual clown is oh yeah dulking yeah no, yeah, 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 yeah 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 like do you do you remember his like int list where he said i don't care about inting other people because i know i know i will gain the elo back before they can um i'm not familiar with it but that's okay, like his that's like his, that's like his that's like his uh his quote so here's the thought i want i want you to tell me what you think about this what if what if you did the opposite? What if you helped people in a healthy way understand their mistakes so that when they're on your team the next time they play better? What do you think about that? Is that worth it or no? So in my in my opinion, I don't do either. I feel like inting also waits inting other people also wastes my time. Yeah. And true. helping other and helping randoms. If I know them, I'll help them. Yeah. But if it's random players, it's also a waste of my time. Okay. So, so I just you're more on, like just play the next game. you're more like in crowd shit. Get as many games as you can. If I know you I might I might help you out a little bit, but if not, it's all me. Right. If all I know right. you personally, I don't mind VOD reviewing. And if, but if it's a random, I'll just move on. I like it. All right, that's fair enough, dude. Well good luck in yeah. your games, man. I, this is really fun. I mean did we learn something? I think we did. I think, uh, no, I think I think I think it was good. It yeah. was I think it was I think this game is hard as fuck and I think these conversations need to be had. I mean, yeah, I feel I think I mean, if you like doing it, that's 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 all you dude. But like for me, if it's not like if I don't know the person person like, you know, as a friend or something, mm -hmm. then I feel like it's just a waste of time. Yeah. Well, I would say your your jungle seems pretty solid. I I was a little drunk when we were playing this game. I was like two glasses in, so I'm just glad that we got the dub. <laughs> that's that's no problem <laughs> all right dude ggs man i'm sure we'll see each other soon all right ggs see you man see ya